Appalachian Wireless has some of the best data rates in wireless on our plans, and not to mention an amazing deal on one of our hottest smartphones. But that's all the time I have to explain. See store for details. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Each year during the Hillbilly Days Festival, thousands flock to the streets of downtown Pikeville to catch a glimpse of a hillbilly or two, enjoy the delicious food, listen to music, or just simply support the Shriners Hospital for Children. However, this year's weather forecast kept a lot of spectators at home. I'll be honest, I've talked to the other guys and a lot of people are hurting. Uh, Looks like we're you know, not doing as well as we normally do. We don't have the traffic that we saw the last couple of days, but we're still enthusiastic, we're energetic, we're thinking positive. Even with heavy rain during most of Saturday's festivities, the Hillbilly Days Festival continued with the normal Saturday routine and planned events. Many are hoping that Thursday and Friday's decent weather will make up for Saturday's low attendance. We do a lot of planning before the festival, and so we always have backup plans in case of any type of inclement weather and, and that's what we've done with the, with the rain is just implement those plans that we've had and so it, it means moving a few things around for us from a setup point but you know all in all it's, it's not that bad. While a lot didn't want to venture in the rain to watch the 41st annual Hillbilly Days Parade, East Kentucky Broadcasting made it possible to watch and listen from the comfort of your own home. However, that doesn't mean it was easy. It's given us a lot of challenges this year, but we were able to, to get through them with the help of the City of Pikeville and, and the University of Pikeville. Um, the City of Pikeville has actually given us a section of the parking garage where we can actually do the parade coverage outside of the rain. The University of Pikeville is providing us with some technical help to get our signal up to the studios of East Kentucky Broadcasting. So we're able to bring the coverage to you even though it's raining cats and dogs today. Today wraps up the Hillbilly Days festivities. Join us again next year as we take on the 42nd annual Hillbilly Days. Hopefully, the weather will cooperate. Reporting from Hillbilly Days, I'm Shelby Steele for EKB News.